Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are discussing dairy-free alternatives with an Indian diet and an Indian lifestyle. So if this is the first video you're watching on my channel, then hi, I'm Sarah. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and join the Sarah squad and also click on the notification bell right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. Alright, so diving straight into the dairy-free lifestyle and the dairy-free alternatives that I have to share with you all. So this is basically coming with the intention that I've done a separate video already on how I lost weight with PCOS and in that I mentioned that going dairy-free has really helped me. So a lot of you all wanted to know what I consume and the alternatives that I use as opposed to cows and buffalo's milk. So that's what I'm here to do today. Uh, just giving you a little context, if you've not seen that video, I'm going to leave the thread here or here, wherever the link pops up and also in the description section in that video I have in depth explained everything about weight loss and how to lose weight in the right way when it comes to PCOS uh, but in today's video it's purely about the dairy free lifestyle I I'm also going to urge you to leave all your questions when it comes to PCOS down in the comment section so I will do a separate PCOS Q&A where I answer all your questions so this is something I would say for the absolute foodies who just think that you can't do this Try to minimize rather than completely go off dairy. Try to slow and steadily get there and then you'll realize and personally start seeing the difference. You know, you will start seeing the difference in your skin, in your body and how bloated you are and if it really helps you or doesn't help you. And then you can make the decision to completely make the switch. So don't do it overnight. You can take your process and go as slow as possible with it. Now I think uh, for you kind of people and for in general, what you should ideally do is something I also did. Uh, that you should completely stop everything dairy for two weeks. Take it as a two week challenge and just stop everything. All your dairy products absolutely stick to the alternatives or don't consume it at all. And then see, is there a difference in your skin? Is there a difference in how bloated you are? Is there a difference in your cycle? Or how you feel in general? If you see some difference, uh, then definitely you know that it's working for you. And so, uh, slowly start introducing one product at a time. Like for me, not every dairy item is at the moment reacting. So this is how I urge you to go ahead with the lifestyle. Now keeping that in mind, let's dive into the alternatives that I have for you guys. Okay, now first thing is milk, I think, because a lot of questions on my PCOS video was what to do about an evening cup of tea and evening cup of coffee because I think you're all obsessed with your chai and coffee. Now, I personally am not a chai lover. I only feel like having tea when it's like raining and stuff like that, but um, mainly I love my coffee. So for that reason, I switched to black coffee. Now, that's a transition very difficult to make because I love Miri Doodwali coffee, but Honestly, when I started having black coffee, I felt so much better. Like, I just felt this boost of energy in my system and I could work out better. Like, my black coffee is my workout, pre-workout meal and I love having it. Like, the way I make it, I make it with one teaspoon of coffee powder, one teaspoon of honey and one teaspoon of lime. And the lime is really the perfect amount of khatta pan you need in your coffee. It tastes really, really good. If you've not tried black coffee, you should give it a try. So of course going dairy free uh, for chai and coffee the first thing would be either you go black tea black coffee or just completely chop off uh, the black tea also and try green tea chamomile tea and all of that but honestly I don't like those teas uh. Uh, like kali chai is better than having a green tea cap like green tea is also okay but this chamomile tea and all to mere se nahi hota. but uh, if, if you can't do that then your milk alternatives that we have uh, in the vegan lifestyle is one soy milk and the other is almond milk very easily available in the Indian market there is also pistachio milk walnut milk that you do get uh, but the most easy alternatives you get are soy milk and almond milk now currently I do have almond milk here with me this is the almond milk I'm using uh, this is by 137 degrees and this is absolutely yummy it's so so tasty you guys it is real almond milk with a tad of sweetness from organic coconut flower nectar. Uh, now this version has the coconut uh, flower nectar. I like this one because it's slightly sweetened so I don't have to put sugar or honey or jaggery when I'm using this. Uh, you also get a non-sweetened version. You also get walnut and pistachio milk in this particular brand. This brand is very easily available on their website, on Amazon 
and even in stores like the good general stores you do get this brand so I had to buy it from my general store only uh, I'm gonna leave all the links what I can find on the internet down below so you can easily go ahead and shop now this milk is a tad bit expensive it's 375 so it's a little expensive if you think on a daily basis it's getting very pricey for you then you also get other brands which are on the cheaper side it's so good almond milk which is 250 bucks but honestly i hate the taste of that it tastes like cardboard honestly it tastes like cardboard this really is so thick so creamy you feel like you're drinking healthy milk and it's very very tasty i urge you to try this once because if you try so good and this raw and all and if you don't like it then you might just give up on the dairy free lifestyle altogether so it's important important that you try the almond milk that you like you know so I have tried everything on the market you name the brand I've tried it and this is what I've come down to this is super super yummy and uh, if you want to try you don't have to buy the one liter bottle you do get the smaller tetra packs the small size ones so you can try those so now when we come to soy milk it is much much more cheaper as compared to almond milk i think the uh, one liter bottle comes for about 130 the brand i'm talking about is so fit uh, their soy milk is really good i love their chocolate version that is my favorite breakfast uh, milk to have i used to have that all the time but it has a lot of sugar in it so that's why i've cut down on that uh, but if you want to get the non-sweetened version the regular soy milk to just add to your chai and coffee you can definitely give it a shot uh, it's much much more reasonable and yeah it's still a vegan option so this is what i use when it comes to milk so now let's dive into the second cult favorite that is cheese now for cheese uh it's very difficult to give up cheese if you're a cheese lover i know but you can do that because you get vegan cheese very easily in the indian market now and the one i'm using here is from sorted delhi uh, this is the vegan cheese, uh, it's very affordable, it's somewhere around 200. This was my first time trying vegan cheese and I've already used up half of this. Uh, vegan cheese is basically made with kaju and nutritional yeast. So these are the main two ingredients. But they add a lot of like spices like ginger, garlic and stuff like that. So it really tastes very very good. And you can very easily put this on your toast and have it for breakfast. Or you can put it in your pasta which I very much do. These alternatives are basically so that you're as close to your love of food as possible. Uh, because I'm not going to say that dairy free lifestyle is very easy, it is difficult, it takes a lot of determination um, but you have to like make these changes to keep yourself happy you know so uh, that's what I do, I like this cheese, uh, it's by Sorted Dairy. I'm going to leave the link in the description section, I believe Urban Plateau also does vegan cheese and uh, Urban Plateau also does good nutritional yeast so if you buy nutritional yeast uh, you can um, make vegan cheese at home with the kaju you have at home. You get videos on YouTube to do that. I've never tried it. Uh, but I've seen videos on how to make vegan cheese. It's super super simple. This is the perfect time actually to try the dairy free lifestyle. Because they're not going out and you're not calling uh, food from outside as much as before at least. So you're like really able to see ke ghar ke khane mein how much you can restrict yourself. Okay now quickly gonna go on to your greasing items like butter and ghee. I personally prefer ghee over butter. So if you're using butter a lot you can easily switch to ghee. I think ghee reacts with very less people. Uh, I also prefer ghee over oil you know because ghee is a much healthier option as compared to oil. So if you're uh, okay with ghee like it's working for your body like I said two weeks sub band kar do. Uh, ghee ke baad they use tail and slowly reintroduce ghee and see what happens. Um, because if ghee works for you then nothing like it. Ghee is very healthy you can use it very much because we use ghee in very little amount. For me it definitely works. Now let's come to a little bit of delicacy when it comes to these chocolates and uh, stuff like that. Uh, if you're having very little chocolate, you can have dark chocolate, regular dark chocolate like Lint or Bonneville or whatever. You can have Thora Sa and it should not uh, cause a problem to you. But if you're having a lot of chocolate craving, like sometimes I feel like just eating the entire bar by myself, then uh, I do buy vegan chocolate and keep in my fridge. And the one I love uh, is the one I've only tried this brand and I really like their chocolates. This is the company Darzel and this is their 45% mild dark chocolate with roasted hazelnut. Uh, I just bought this bar this time but usually you get like 5 to 6 bars uh, of different different flavors and all the flavors in their brand is really really good and all of them are vegan made with almond milk uh, so they are very healthy and also your dairy free alternative to chocolate it tastes exactly like chocolate like if you won't even be able to tell the difference between a dairy milk roasted hazelnut and a this roasted hazelnut in fact this is much more tastier uh, I feel and it's not even expensive it's this entire bar is 150 so because 
because only I am eating it and I don't have to share it with anyone. I can aram se chala this for a whole month. Uh, whenever I'm craving chocolate, I take like two pieces and eat it. So this is a very good company of vegan chocolate. And same, your other delicacies are your biscuits and your cookies and stuff like that. And my Oreos, I love my Oreos so much. Oreo is my absolute favorite cookie of all time. I have these strong Oreo cravings time to time. And now, personally for me, one Oreo a day doesn't matter, like doesn't hurt. So I do consume one Oreo once in a while. But uh, I used to use vegan cookies back in the day. Now I don't remember the company I used to eat from. But whenever you go to Nature's Basket, you do get like uh, different companies all the time, or you can search on Amazon and see the reviews and buy and whatever's affordable to you. Uh, because of course you can't have Mari biscuit, you can't have Good Day, and all these like uh, dood wala biscuit you can't have. And honestly, if you stop that, it's the best for you because it has a lot of maida. So it's the best thing to just completely stop having those, which is what I have done. I've just stopped having it completely. Only once in a while I take an Oreo because I have the sweet craving. I'm a sweet tooth. But uh, if you don't even have that, then best for you just stop all your biscuits. They are very very unhealthy for your health. But if sometimes you're craving and you don't even want to go out there and buy almond uh, cookies or like vegan cookies, then you can make almond uh, cookies at home. Almond flour is very easy to make. You just have to basically um, blitz up some almond and you get almond flour. And if that is too expensive, then just use your regular uh, wheat flour or maida. Basically, wheat flour is healthier than maida. Use that and then use your almond milk as the greasing and then you can make vegan cookies. So something to enjoy in the evening with your chai and coffee, you'll have some like you know bite uh, to have every day. So you can make uh, in batches and store it. One Instagram page I highly recommend that shares great great vegan uh, food items is the Better Binge. She's a vegan cake baker. She makes amazing amazing vegan cakes. But she also uh, shares a lot of recipes for these cookies and all these bites and stuff like that in her on her Instagram stories. And she saves it on her highlights. So you can watch those. Very easy to make. I love watching those and I have even tried one or two of her recipes. So she is too good. I'm going to leave her link in the description as well. You should check her out. Another page that I really follow for good breakfast alternatives and good um, healthy, just basically healthy alternatives is Health Meal Today. Everything they share on their Instagram is healthy, like basically your breakfast or your cookies or a lot of, like even ice cream for that matter. You can make vegan ice cream so easy to make, so easy to make. It's impossibly easy to make. They also share like recipes for Snickers bars and you know chocolate bars that you can make at home. So a lot of fun to like cook for yourself all these delicacies and have once in a while because it's something you made for yourself and you can really enjoy it. So yeah, these are two Instagram pages that share amazing recipes if you want to go dairy free the right way and still want to have your binge eats once in a while. So the three things I haven't been able to find any alternative to are cream, dahi and paneer. Uh, now cream is very unhealthy so I completely eliminated from my diet. Uh, paneer is not big in my personal diet because I'm a non-vegetarian so I have other means of protein. Uh, so if you're a big paneer lover you could uh, like I said you know eliminate everything and reintroduce paneer and see if it's working for you. And dahi I know a lot of people love dahi. You put it in everything. You put it in your gravies. You put it in everything almost. Uh, so what I do is basically for my Indian gravies if I'm using dahi my mom makes a separate batch in which she's not going to put dahi and that masala uh, gravy she gives me which tastes exactly the same the only creamy aspect of it is missing which is fine with me uh, but like she basically makes two batches you know you just have to remove one like little bit out for me and then put dahi in the rest of the gravy so that's what she does for me so those kind of dishes you can make a separate batch for yourself which doesn't have dahi in it you do get actually you do get um, vegan yogurt also but I personally haven't tried it if I do find any links online I will leave them in the description section but I'm not guaranteeing you how good it's gonna be so if you're a super super dahi lover and you want to try vegan yogurt, go for it, go ahead and try it. And let me know if it's any good so I could try it too. Alright, so with that I actually complete all the dairy free alternatives and what I have done to smartly switch to the dairy free lifestyle. I was not one of those to just get up one day and be like, okay, kal se nahi khana hai. I did it in a very slow and gradual way. 
and uh, there was a phase where I was not consuming any dairy and now slowly I have reintroduced one or two things here and there which I've told you all the way it's working for me. So I hope this video helped you all in a positive way and helps you all make the much needed change you have to do. Uh, if you did actually like this video then don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also share this video with your other PCOS sisters so that we can share the right sort of information and positively influence other members of the PCOS community. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding PCOS, regarding the dairy free lifestyle or workout or anything else leave them in the comments we'll do a separate pcos q a for you guys for this video the sarah squad shout out goes to sasha shake thank you so much sasha for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sarah squad shout out then all you gotta do is subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell right next to it and leave a comment down below saying hashtag sarah squad and you'll get a chance to be a part of next week's sarah squad shout out I will see you guys very soon in another video next Sunday. Bye guys. Love you all. Take care.